You, go have a look. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Fossils discovered in the Guajira Peninsula of Colombia show that the Celeron Titanoboa is the largest prehistoric serpent that has ever been found. Its average length could reach 15 meters, and it weighed over one ton. It could easily prey on giant crocodiles. As an apex predator, it was almost invincible. I can assure all of you boys and girls here that you will be torn to shreds if you encounter such a snake. <laughs> This encyclopedia of prehistoric life that I wrote specifically for you contains a detailed introduction. Anyone who likes this book can order from me. <laughs> Look everybody, the snake and the mouse, for example. Form a food chain. Get out! I don't ever want to see you again. Gentle? Doesn't bite? Are you crazy? Get out of here! Baby. Baby? Daddy. <laughs> Did you behave today, yes. baby? Baby behaved very well today. Took her pills on time. Three red pills, two white pills, and candy. Excuse me, is this the home of Mr. Lin Chi? Uh, yes. You are Mr. Lin. Your house is hard to find. This is the CEO of Wong Hong Group, Mr. Ki Tang. Uh, why are you looking for me? <laughs> well, uh, come in. This is a small place, so just make yourselves comfortable. Would you like something to drink? Sure, thank you. Mr. Lane, I know you pretend to be an elementary school biology teacher, but in actuality Cucumber you are... or apple juice? Cucumber. Ha! Huh. Mr. Lin, though you pretend to be an elementary school biology teacher, you are in fact... What about watermelon juice? Still cucumber, thank you. Ha! <sighs> Though you masquerade as an elementary school biology teacher, in truth, you are an outstanding biologist. And today, I... Mr. Lin, I know that you are an outstanding biologist. I'm glad to finally meet you in person. I also know that you are the author of the Encyclopedia of Prehistoric Life. That's just some out-of-class reading material I wrote for the kids. I had to publish it myself. I am very interested in its contents. 
especially that of chapter 13, Mr. Lin. The fruit of life. The blood apple. Mr. Lin, may I have a word with you? It's just my own speculation. Within the field of biology, it's just a joke. The fruit of life, the blood apple was first discovered in 1769. The chromium element in the fruit can effectively inhibit the division of cancer cells. Clark theory. Six years ago, Mr. Keating established a research committee on cancer and started a highly classified project about the blood apple, codenamed Project Rebirth. Based on your conjecture in your book, Mr. Lin, our scientific team during a geological exploration has discovered a no man's island where the fruit may exist. Mr. Ki Tang has named the island Rebirth Island. But even so, the blood apple is just speculation. During World War II, a Japanese soldier mysteriously disappeared. People found him again. He was 126 years old. Last week, energy detectors deployed on the outskirts of the island suddenly detected a substantial increase in chromium. This is the precursor to it bearing fruit. Looks like we found the right person. Mr. Lin, we've prepared a team to go to the island. So, are you coming along? Mr. Ki Tang has already arranged the best hospital for your daughter. Here is your down payment. What do you want me to do? We need you to lead us to it. Mr. Lin. This is our squad captain. Hello. <laughs> Mr. Ki Tang has esophageal cancer. We have tried every form of technology, but the cancer cells have been spreading. Right now, this is the only option we have. Mr. Lin, you are the last chance he has. You mean the blood apple? Lan Ro, thank you for your effort. His condition is deteriorating, and he needs rest. Ah, let me introduce you. Dr. Lan Ro from the World Research Committee on Cancer Cells. This is the author of the Encyclopedia of Prehistoric Life, Mr. Lin Chi. Hello. 
<laughs> that was awkward. <laughs> it's okay. Women like her are going to have some personality. You're talking to the geological expert at the exploration CK. You can also call me Mr. Handsome. Hey, fatty. Here it is. Take it. Hello, Fatty. My name's Lin Chi. Fatty is my uh, <laughs> other nickname. Hmm. <clears throat> Have we met before? <sighs> Do I look like your ex boyfriend? Your pickup lines suck. So? How have I offended you? I don't understand why Mr. Ki Tang believed all the crap in your stupid book that started the so called Project Rebirth and is risking everyone's lives. The element of chromium in the blood apple contains hyperactive inhibitive enzymes that will kill cancer cells. It's impossible to acquire this amount of chromium unless the entire Earth is mined. The only thing that can help Mr. Ki Tang is medical science. Not legends. Called it. Yeah. <laughs> After riding through this wall of fog, we'll be there. During monsoon season, due to the backflow of high pressure before the front arrives, heavy fog forms over large areas. This is the first time that I've seen such a heavy fog otherwise. Yeah, exactly. This is an adventure, huh? Oh my god! 
god, what the hell is going on? They'll tear your face off! Everyone get inside! Let's go!
these fish won't bite again, will they? Huh? Relax. They won't live long after they leave the water. Very strange. Yeah, I find it strange too. I've never seen biting fish that can fly. Flying chain fish only attack during spawning season or when they're startled. But this isn't spawning season. Are you saying that there's something else that can threaten these monsters? Be quiet. Where's the captain? Captain! Here I am. Oh, boss. Why did you stop the ship? The engine's been on overdrive for too long. It'll take time to fix it, okay? Okay. As I expected. What do you mean, Mr. Lin? This body of water contains small amounts of chromium that probably floated here from upstream. Is that so? How long before the blood apple blossoms and bears fruit? According to analysis of previous data, it will be five days a uh, yeah. Five days at most. <laughs> Two days at most. That thick wall of fog has changed climate here. The blood apple will bear fruit soon. <sighs> Sir, the captain says that it will take three days for repairs. <coughs> here it is. Boss, this is the latest map that I just generated. This is our current location, right here, and the blood apple should be here. We can leave some people here, and the rest of us should travel light. After we get the fruit, we'll come back and meet here. The shortest path is to go straight through the forest. Let's get packed and get ready. No. This is a virgin forest that has gone undisturbed for millions of years. Nobody knows what kind of danger we'll encounter. We should walk along the river. Danger. We are here to overcome danger. Let's get ready. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> I just love taking photos. <laughs> so who are you writing to? Ah, my daughter. Your daughter? <sighs> <clears throat> wow, 
She's really cute. She should be as old as you are now. Oh? <sighs> I'm not exactly the best father. Hey! Hooga Booga! Watch out! If you break it, you gotta pay for it. I'll dock your Drink pay, I'm again, not kidding. you old drunk. No wonder your wife and daughter abandoned you. <laughs> Huga! Huga! <laughs> this guy. Huga. 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 Huga! Huga! Everyone, look at this. What an odd looking fruit. Don't move. It's fine. <laughs> what a big fruit. Is it edible? Don't move. It's a prehistoric explosive fruit. Named the Jungle Grenade. Such fruits will easily explode when they ripen. They are powerful enough to blow up a zebra. That was close. Good thing I didn't pick it up, huh? I could have gotten my hand blown off. Such fruits usually grow in clusters, but there are only a few here. Which means the seeds must have been brought here by some animal. Let's get going. Okay, let's go, let's go. Don't bump it. The path 
continue straight ahead. Keep alert! have to get past this mountain, and then we'll be there in a day at most. such a tiny creature scare you so much <laughs> all of you come on have a little taste huh <laughs> <laughs> Come on! <laughs> it's just a joke. Ah! 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 
Some snakes have a strong sense of territory and self-protection. It's possible that the giant snake was protecting these eggs. Oji. Sit still. Don't move. Oh. 
You are a professional. Who drew this? My daughter. She must be so cute. That's why I say that you guys have no sense of responsibility. For the sake of your own personal achievement, you risk everything. What if you encounter some sort of danger? Have you thought about what would happen to her? Her name is Baby. Her mother died not long after she was born. Bone cancer. The doctors discovered that the cancer cells have already spread to Baby's body. I couldn't save Baby's mother. But I must save her. I'm sorry. Huh? Come! <laughs> Where are you going? so beautiful. Crystal fireflies. They died out about 10,000 years ago. I didn't expect that there would be so many of them here. I believe in miracles. Something's up. Let's go. What happened? Whoa, whoa, I'm just taking a shit, okay? Damn it. Can I have a little privacy, please? Huh? Did I forget to wipe my ass? Yeah. Knock it off. Yo, Rick. Huh? What's your plan after this, huh? I don't know. I'll wait till I get back alive. In for an inch, out for a mile. The captain, he knows what he's doing. Go! 
Don't fire! Don't fire! It's me! It's me! Why are you here? All dead! All dead! My crew is all dead! Snake! Big snake! Let's get out of here! Let's get out of here! Don't panic. The snake that you are talking about has been killed by us. No! On my way here, I saw half-eaten carcasses everywhere. I think that there's got to be something large ahead Shut of up! Everybody listen to me. We will keep going. Otherwise, nobody gets paid a cent. Advance! Are you crazy? Are you crazy? You're going to die! You all are going to die! You are all going to die! Are you all crazy? Expert, what do you think? Wh hey, bad time to be pensive. Blood vines. They're growing rapidly. Hurry! Let's get out of here. Run! Run! Hurry! Let's go! Thank you.
hurry! Let's go! Any further. I want to go home. I want to go home. Everybody, whoever stays here won't get a cent. Whoever goes along, I will triple your pay. Are you insane? <laughs> You're a fish that can fly. Killer plants. Gigantic snakes and many dangers that are beyond your expectation. If you want to find the blood apple, you have to listen to me from now on. Let's go, expert. Fatty. Whoa, that's a lot of jungle grenades. It'll be quite a scene if they all explode. Mistaken. This is not a path. The snake made it when it slithered through. You have got to be kidding me. How can there be such a gigantic snake? Could it be a dragon? <gasps> Was the bear also killed by that thing? We gotta get out of here. Let's walk a different way. Over there. I think I've detected the blood apple. Where? 
It's behind this mountain. <laughs> hey. That sound is caused by a high density of chromium. I think we found it. It should bear fruit very soon. We're running out of time. Let's climb over the mountain.
Ende. Lynchy. Give it to me. 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 Now.
Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! You go first, before it notices. What? Chi! What are you doing? Chi! No! Chi! That, that's suicide! Chi! You guys run to the canyon ahead. If I don't distract the snake, we will all be dead.
Mr. Lin, the school really cannot accept your unconventional teaching method. Principal Wong, I'm just trying to help the kids understand the cruelty of nature by allowing them to see, listen, and feel. The students will never forget this class. Mr. Lin, ours is just too small of a school for someone as unorthodox and risk-taking as you. Also, bringing a snake into a children's classroom is just way too dangerous. Principal Wong, I think you must have misunderstood. <laughs> Zhao King is a very gentle snake. It never bites people. Yeah, I'm just 